Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am out here at the range, beautiful Sunday morning. We're doing some more testing. Uh, if you've been following the channel for a little bit, you know that I fell in love with the 357 SIG round. I think it's a fantastic round, but it is, is it any better than nine millimeter or 40? Well, luckily with my P229, we can test all three at the same time. Well, not the same time, but you know what I mean. So we've got some Remington Golden Saber bonded jacketed hollow points, nine millimeter, 40, and 357 SIG. We've got 124 grain plus P, we've got 180 grain, 40, and then we've got 125 grain, 357 SIG. As always, we're gonna put a couple rounds through the chronograph, but first, let's take a closer look at these rounds. Here are the rounds we're gonna be using. Remington Golden Saber bonded, nine millimeter plus P, 124 grain, 40, 180 grain, and then 357 SIG, 125 grain. There are the rounds themselves. Those shadows are kind of creeping up. Now the interesting thing about this one is you can see how the hollow point is actually plugged a little bit, but then on the 40, it's it goes down quite a bit compared to the 357 SIG. And then on the nine millimeter, it's relatively plugged. So we'll see how that transfers to the gel overall, but Right now we're going to put five rounds through the chronograph, get some speeds. The uh, uh, I had to go to the website for the speeds. 11.25, 10.15, and 13.25. So let's check them out in the chronograph. Got the chronograph set up over here, got the gel over there. Five rounds through the chronograph. Uh, I only have my cell phone, so I'll call out the speeds and I'll give you the average at the end. So this one was 1125 feet per second per the Remington website. Twelve oh two. Holy Christmas. Eleven ninety five. Eleven ninety four. 1207 1211 Wow I am impressed with those speeds Let's check the average That average was 1201 So if you saw that SIG V crown video I was not impressed with the 9 mm at all that was only averaging 1,000 feet per second. This is averaging 1,200 feet per second. Granted, this is a plus P, but I'm impressed. Let's load up the 40 and see how that does. Really impressed with those nine millimeter. 40, I think it was rated at 10, 15, I think I said. I don't even remember. But uh, new string, let's put five rounds through there. This is 40, 180 grain. Nine eighty one, nine seventy two, nine seventy one, nine seventy seven, nine fifty seven. Well, that average is probably around nine sixty six, nine seventy one. I was close. So uh, a little bit less, whereas the nine millimeter was a little bit more. This was a little bit less. Let's load up the 357 SIG. Let's see what that one's at. 357 SIG time, 1325 uh, advertised speed. Let's check that. Got a new string loaded up. Thirteen oh one. 1287, 1307, 1281, 1294. So this one's going to be a little less than 1300 feet per second, uh, probably around 1290, 1292, 1294 average. So a little bit slower than the manufactured or the advertised speed. How will this all translate to the gel? Let's go find out. As I did in a previous video, I'm gonna just shoot with the camera. 
this view and not me actually shooting. I've got the GoPro over here. Flip the gel around from a previous test that I did. So we've got a clean side, nine millimeter, Remington Golden Saber, let's go. Gosh, I just love hitting the sides of this gel. What? No. Uh, again, that went all the way, all the way through. So, I wish I had another block of gel, but I just don't. All right, that nine millimeter went through. It did the same thing with another test. I wish I brought another block of gel, but I just didn't. So we're gonna move on to 40. If you're counting along at home, that was a bad shot. This table is uh, getting pretty messed up. Let's try it again. This is 40. Finally, a good shot, even though it's still low. There it is. Pretty, pretty interesting. Let's load up that 357 SIG. That was the 40. Pretty interesting stuff. Let's see how the 357 SIG does. I'm kind of interested. And remember, this 40, that hollow point was open all the way down to the base of the hollow point, or as far down. This one was not. It was like plugged up. Will that translate to anything? Let's find out. Good shot. But I don't know if it went all the way through or not. So I know that was a good shot. That one I'm pretty sure was right there. But it went right through. All right, I just looked. I don't normally look at the footage out here at the range, but I wanted to make sure that I wasn't missing because I have not, honestly, I've not shot very well today. Um, I don't know what's going on, but. I wanted to make sure that that was a hit. And I went in like right here and it just, it went right through. So I don't know if it's that Remington Golden Saber round or or what. It probably is because the nine millimeter went through too. And the 40 went almost all the way through. So uh, it just, this one penetrates a lot. And before you say anything, yes, I know I should have another block of gel, but honestly, I didn't think about it and I didn't bring another gel block because the other ones are so far gone but I guess I need a backstop so let's take it back to the house and we'll do a little recap we are back at the house it is recap time it is like two weeks later I finally got a chance to look at all the footage um, one of the funny things that I saw in the footage not much was funny but this was funny um, after I shot that 40 and it I've got the projectile 357 sig was next and I rested this projectile in the corner of the table. I kind of knew what was going to happen, but I don't know. I just left it there anyway. And in that slow-mo, you saw this round come up in front of the GoPro and it looked like it was just floating into outer space. I thought that was kind of funny. On to the serious business. I know what you're going to say. You're going to say two things. You're going to say, Andrew, 
you need a second block of gel behind the first block of gel. You're right. And then you're going to say, Andrew, number two, you need to put denim in front of that first block of gel. And you know what? You're right. Anyway. I am pretty underwhelmed overall with how these rounds performed. Uh, the 40 performed just like the Sig V Crown and it was probably the most consistent overall of the Sig V Crown and the Remington Golden Sabre. The 9mm was plus P, higher, um, a little bit uh, hotter round and it was traveling at 1200 feet per second. The 357 SIG was traveling at close to 1300 feet per second. Both rounds were traveling fast enough to expand their pedals, but they both went right through. Now, I said at the end of the video that I did not have a good shooting day, and I didn't with the P229. I filmed the 355, 365X video first, and I shot really well with that, but then when it came time to shoot with the P229, it just didn't work out. It was it was so off, I was wasting a ton of shots. I wound up taking a bunch of just regular old target nine millimeter, aiming at a piece of paper on a target. And I mean, if I'm aiming at a target, they were high and right. And I'm not the best shooter, I never claim to be, but I'm not gonna miss by a foot at 10 yards. I'm just not. Um, so it was not a good day shooting with the P229. I'm going to have to bring it to a gunsmith because there's something going on that I just don't know. So I'm going to bring it to them and see what they can do with it. Otherwise I'm just wasting a ton of ammo. So with that said, if there's any test that I've done on this channel, if there's any round that I've tested, this one, this golden saber, deserves a second chance. It deserves a second chance with some denim in front and a second gel behind because if it doesn't expand and it's just like um, an extreme penetrator like the Underwood, then this is totally mislabeled. And if it expands because of the denim, then it will have redemption. So I'm gonna have to test it again, but first I gotta get that P229 looked at because there's just something going on with it. And overall, I'm just not, if I were to walk into, like after I performed this test, after I shot that video and whatnot, and I walked in to wherever and I saw this on the shelf, I would not buy it. And that's just plain and simple. But if I saw a Federal HST, if I saw a Spear Gold Dot, I would not hesitate. This, I would hesitate so much so that I wouldn't buy it. A Golden Dud. So uh, I will revisit this one in the future, um, but for now, the test is inconclusive. I'm sure that everybody's going to roast me in the comment section, so I'm prepared for it. I've got my thick skin on. Let me know what you think down below. That's gonna do it for this one. Like and subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next video.